The Louisville Cardinals play host to the NC State Wolfpack in game one of a doubleheader right here on ESPN. Numbers are very good. She has the highest batting average on the team right now. She's steady, too, in center field. Started every game as she puts one down on the ground, and it's bobbled at shortstop as Hess can handle. And this is a larger conversation, Carol, that the fielding for both of these teams has a little been a little bit up and down. Either are six home runs. 0-2 count. Swings on that one. Gordon goes for it, and she grabs it underhand and in the netting, no problem. Goodwin at the plate, and she rips one into left field. Rounding is Murray on her way home. And there you have it. The first run of the game goes to the Wolfpack, and you said it, Carol, can't let him hang around. And it's one to nothing now. Chance to end this right here. For Zabala, the freshman gets a big swing and a miss. And that gets her out of the inning. The outside corner on that last one. 1-1 one, one is the count as this one is bouncing over the head into left field. field excuse me. Otis is able to reach first. Fun. Hensko as Hassler throws and safe is Otis on her way to second. You said it, Carol, they were going to run, and it worked that time around. And more of that outside corner. Roby's power really has power to all fields, but especially to the pull side. Roby gets a good knock on that one, and everybody watches it go. Roby with her 11th home run of the year. She clears the bases and gives Louisville a lead. Three-run homer for Taylor Roby. Two kind of co-coaches, if you will, for the Wolfpack this season. There was a coaching change March 2nd as Jennifer Patrick Swift was relieved of her duties. And right away we see a big hit into center field. And moving all the way to second is Libby Whitaker. So how about that to start things off for Boland and company? I'm sure they're happy. You know, they've, that big sweep of Boston College just felt really good to this team, just remembering how to win. Zabala gets back on track as she gets Lambert to swing at one. And a lot of spin. That's why we're seeing a lot of swings and misses. That's her third strikeout today as this one's hit up the middle and it finds the gap. Back to Murray and she's on again. The first time was on in an error. She goes kind of in the same spot, but this time that's a pure hit. Paige Garrity, very bottom of the order for Louisville, puts on a bunt. Coming up from third and making the throw successfully is good win to Whitaker. So three up, three down for Ensco. We'll head to the third. A three game series still for Louisville and NC State. Zabala, first pitch. As this one's hit high, deep in the left center field and it's out of here. My goodness. That's a second home run in this game. And the first for NC State as Pavlik goes deep. Well, Hessler takes the first pitch she sees and absolutely, excuse me, Pat drills it over the left center wall. It's, it's just been a hitting parade here today. Lots of smiles. And this is what NC State can do. Games this season, just seven complete games. Chopped into second, thrown to first, and it's bobbled. Fyle can't handle, and Goodwin rounds and scores. We got a tie game. It's just lightning in a bottle at the top of the lineup. That one hit to third, thrown to first, stretching out is Whitaker, and she gets the out. Move over Simone Biles, that's nice. Put behind her, are you gonna put behind her? Your hottest hitter, and that hitter may change from time to time. Lots of power on that one for File. And we got another home run. Hannah File goes deep. Louisville leads again.
Impressive at bat by file. This is an outside pitch. She lets it get deep into the zone and shows you that she has power to all fields. This is a tall fence at Louisville. It clears it easily for her fourth home run of the season for this Louisville team. She's hitting nearly 400 on the season. Hurst hits one high into foul territory, tracked down and grabbed by Goodwin. Summit a little bit. However, it is still 4-3. Louisville leads NC State. The ball is more spinny, more up in the zone. Taylor Roby, just pure power coming at you, really lives more in the bottom of the zone. Strikeout looking there. On a few. One went over the fence. But let's make sure if we're going to pitch to her, we're going to keep it outside. Well, she rakes one in the left field. That's going to score Otis with ease. And the lead is now to another RBI. It's a four RBI day for Roby. 2-2, two -two, right to Ensko. Hits her in the hand, throws to third. And I think the sting of that just froze her for a second and nobody out. Doesn't look like it felt good either for Ensko. And now the bases are loaded. With two outs, bases loaded, finds the gap. Here comes one run in Gordon. Looks like they're sending another in Louisville. Gets two RBIs out of that hit from Alexander. She's been Mrs. Reliable for Louisville all season, comes up big. Two out RBIs, so crucial in the final scores of games. And Allie Alexander takes this one right back up the middle, doesn't try to do too much with it, just pokes it through the infield, and that easily scores both Gordon and Forsyth. Podcast, this Louisville team, so good at passing the bat. Ensko catches Miller looking, but a big inning for Louisville. We'll take a break. Doing discipline against Taylor Roby. You know, when, you, when you're down and you like to swing and hit the long ball, it's, it's real easy to get free swinging. And that one finds its way into left field. Murray's going to go aggressive, and it works. Well, that's another RBI for Hassler. It's a meaty part of the lineup for Louisville. And a diving play out in right field. Goins denies a hit there. Well, Ellie Goins has found a home in right field for NC State as a freshman. Completely commits to making this catch. Stays on her feet as long as she can to give herself enough speed where she can reach as far as she can. Catches the ball close to the ground. I mean, that is a textbook play. Try to hit that low outside pitch. Taylor Roby is going to hit that spot all day long. Been very effective for her today. Quick hit. Back to her, throws the first, and Roby ends the game. Roby the hero with that three-run homer earlier in this contest, and her team hangs on to win game one of a doubleheader.